Nest Health is a company dedicated to providing people with the best ways to be able to transform their health. Ten years ago, I had a dream. It's a dream about a portable health system that would both be able to read what was going on in the body, but also, more importantly, to be able to work out how to get people better. Welcome to the Nest My Health. This has been a big step forward in my dream. The My Health is one of the world's first devices that is able to help you achieve the highest levels of physical, mental and emotional well-being. And the technology inside the My Health is based on Nest Health's unique understanding of information, energy and how it relates to biology. And through this understanding, we're both able to read what's going on in the body and using the body's own healing mechanisms stimulate your recovery. The team behind the My Health has worked for many many years absolutely tirelessly and I'm so proud to be able to finally present this both to you and the world. This video is designed to explain how to use your Nest My Health device. The Nest My Health is extremely flexible in that it can be used both on and off the body. It can be used standalone or integrated into your existing practice, such as your Nest ProVision system. Let's take a closer look at the device. You'll notice that there are very few buttons. This is because we've incorporated a full color touchscreen, which will operate the software. On the bottom of the device, you'll find your on-off switch. It's silver. By pressing and holding that down, you hear two tones and the device will become operational. On the home screen, there will be three options. There are two categories at the top, My Health and Cycles. At the bottom, you have your settings icon. By going into settings, you will be able to personalize your My Health device by changing the brightness, volume controls and others. Let's go back to those two categories and start with the My Health. By selecting My Health, you'll see a list of applications. By selecting the application that you desire, you'll be confronted with a list of functions. You'll see that when you select one of those functions, it will be highlighted. And below those functions, you will see two black arrows, one pointing left, one pointing right. That means that the two blue buttons below the screen are now activated and they can then operate between moving you forwards and backwards within the software. So now that we have our function selected, we will press the right hand blue button to push us through to the run screen. In the run screen, you will see at the very top the name of the function that you've just selected. If it's the incorrect one, press the left hand blue button to go back to the list of functions and select the correct one. At the bottom of the screen are three blue icons. On the left hand side is the electrode icon. When you see this visible, it means that the output will be through the electrodes. To turn the electrodes on, you press the silver round button. To increase the output, the right hand blue button. To decrease the output, the left hand blue button. You can also increase or decrease the output on the side buttons for ease of use. You know that the output is happening when the Ness icon on the screen is flashing. To stop it from outputting, you press the silver round button once again and it will stop. If you press the electrode icon, you will see that it turns into the broadcasting icon. Like with the electrodes, you turn the broadcasting on with a silver button. You do not need to increase or decrease the outputs with broadcasting. And to turn it off, the silver button once again. To go back to the, the electrodes, you press the broadcasting icon once again. So you can now see that to the right of the electrode icon is what looks like a graph. This is the graph icon. By default, it is switched off. To turn the graph on, you press the graph icon and you can see that the graph becomes functional. To the right of the graph is the timer icon. It is initially set for automatic timing where when you have the device switched on, 
it remains on until you switch it off. By selecting the timer icon, you change it from a hand icon to a timer icon where you can now change in increments of 15 seconds uh, the timer to count down and where it stops the output. You change this by the yellow arrows on the top left corner of the screen, arrows up and an arrow down. Above these three icons at the bottom are numbers one to five. These are your intensity settings. One being gentle, five being strong. The default for the device is set at one and we suggest that until you get used to the device and its output, you leave it on one. Let's go through to the other category, which was the cycles. So if you press your left hand blue button a number of times until you get back to the home screen. Now that we're back on the home screen, let's select the cycles category. This will bring you to a list. Select the one you desire. At the bottom of the screen, you should see how long the cycle will last for. By selecting the silver button, you can activate and then deactivate the cycle. The Nest My Health is a wonderful bit of technology. To find out more about it, please visit the website www.nesshealth.com.